What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now I know you guys read that title. After reading it, your mouth should have already just watered right up, right? Today, I'm just gonna, you know, show you guys how to make, if you don't already know how to make, you know, just a stuffed French toast. Listen, we're gonna stuff it with some strawberries, some cream cheese, stuff like that, right? Real simple, easy on the ingredients, not a whole lot of measuring. This is something you can do with your whole family. So listen, I'm not gonna over talk it. We finna get right into it, so let's make it happen. Okay, so look, here you go. Not a whole lot of ingredients, right? So I'm gonna go over these real quick, and then after that, we just gonna go ahead and start making it happen. Now, I'm gonna just start off right here. Look, this is just milk, right? I'm just using regular milk. This is like a cup and a half. I'll show this, because listen, I'm gonna do mine with strawberries. You guys can do them whatever. You can do strawberries, blueberries, whatever fruit you wanna do, but I like the uh, strawberry stuff ones. So we'll do these. This right here, this is cinnamon. Then we got regular white granulated sugar. Sour cream. And then here, this is two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Now, I just separated it because you're gonna have to, you know, have it like that. So it's one teaspoon each. Right here, we got three eggs. These are three large eggs. Then, you know, for my bread, look, I'm gonna show you guys right here. Listen. This right here, this is that thick slice brio style bread. You know, you want to get yourself like this. If you can get holla bread, uh, brio's bread, it'll be even better if you can get a loaf because you can cut the uh, slices even thicker than this. I would like it had to have been maybe about a quarter of an inch, you know, thicker, but this is what we have right here. Now you want to get yourself some, look, this is powdered sugar. This right here, key. We're going to make it look just like it do in the magazines or at IHOP. All right, you're gonna need butter because this is what we're gonna put in our pan, you know what I mean? You can put it in a pan or you can do it in a griddle. You know, this is how we're gonna cook it, you know what I mean? To get, it, you know, all of our egg, you know, our egg wash and everything with the cinnamon to cook. Then we got eight ounces. Look, this is eight ounces of Philly, uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, I wanna say this. This makes it simple. Eight ounces is just a pack, right? We just need butter to cook and then you just got these few ingredients and you're gonna wanna get yourself, you know, like a hand mixer. You know what I mean? Uh, this works best. Just inside of here with that cream cheese, you know, to get everything, you know, incorporated and mixed. And that's, this is basically it. So now let me just go ahead and let's get started. All right. So look, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by doing our, uh, let's go ahead and get these, these strawberries cut. Okay. Now look, I got my filet knife, right? So after you cut the top off, look, it's going to make it square. So I stand it up. You see that? Let me move this so you guys can see. Now, using that thin knife, what I'm doing is I'm cutting thin slices. And the reason for that is, this is what's gonna go in between two slices of bread. If you make them too thick, even if you double them, they're gonna be extra big and it's gonna make it bulgy, right? So you just wanna cut them just like what you see right there. Now, I'm gonna move those off to the side. I'm gonna get another one just to show you, you know, so you can see it again. You cut the top, then you got it, you know, where it's square, you can just set it down. And then all you do is cut yourself some thin slices, just like that. Okay, so got these cut. Now what I wanna do is I wanna show you so you guys can see like the thickness. That's the thickness I like. You can make them thicker or even thinner, right? No problem. So now get yourself a bowl. And what you wanna do is just put them in a bowl like this. So I don't know if you guys ever made strawberry shortcake or whatever. This is the same thing. Instead of putting whole berries inside of here like this, now, instead of, you know, uh, doing whole, we're gonna do them, you know, cut like this. So go ahead and get your white sugar, and all you do is just sprinkle this on, on, on like this. And this is gonna make it like a little syrup, you know? I don't have to, it doesn't make a difference. You can put it all in here. It doesn't really matter. And then look, just kinda like turn this, and we're gonna let this sit up for a little while. Just like you see, you just wanna make sure that the sugar gets on there, and it's gonna make its own little syrup. Now, I can tell you this from making strawberry shortcake, the longer you let this sit in this bowl right here, the more juicy it'll be. So, we got them all coated, as you can see. Each one has some sugar on it, and it's getting ready to break down that uh, strawberry. So, I'll say a minimum of 10 minutes. So, I'm gonna leave this like this. I'll just leave that on there. I'm gonna set this off to the side. And now, what I wanna do is, we're gonna start on the cream cheese. Let me clean my, uh, my board. We're gonna get our bowl. You wanna get a bowl big enough so that you can use your mixer. Got it? I got my strawberries set off to the side. They doing their thing, right? Now, I'm gonna just show you this part right here. 
This part right here is key. Listen, when it comes to this, you wanna have this room temperature, and this is eight ounces, right? Listen, you can look at it right here and you can just see it's like kinda soft. This is what you want. So let me go ahead and get this open because we're gonna put our cream cheese, our vanilla extract, our sour cream, and we're gonna put our powdered sugar in here and then we're gonna mix it all together. Now, we'll put that in there, powdered sugar. Now you wanna get yourself you know, I mean, I'm telling you, having the right tools make a difference. And now, our vanilla extract, just add that. Now our mixer. Then we just wanna mix this all together, and we wanna get it like smooth. Now you don't wanna over mix this, right? You just want it to be thoroughly mixed, everything incorporated. And once you have it, you see these little peaks like what you see right here. That's it. Now, I don't know about y'all, but this right here takes me back to my childhood. If you look at these beaters right here, my grandma would always give me a beater. I know that's, that's, that's bad, huh? But I'm finna use these for myself, and now we're finna move over to the next step. Okay, look, I got myself another bowl. Now this bowl right here, this is so that I can incorporate, you know, my milk, my eggs, my cinnamon, and vanilla extract. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with my I'm gonna go ahead and just start with my milk. It doesn't make a difference how you put it in there. You can start with your eggs, you can do whatever. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and get these open. Just like you see right here. And this is nothing fancy. You wanna go ahead and hit it with your cinnamon and then our vanilla extract. And now I'll just go ahead and take my whisk and we whisk it all together. You know, something about cinnamon, egg, and milk, it just says, you know what, it just reminds you of like family, you know? So, take a trip down memory lane. So, it looks like that. Now you just want to get yourself something flat. That's key, because listen, when we put these together, you're gonna wanna have some room to work. You wanna be able to put it down like this and like this. All right, so I'll just pour this into that. Now, I'm gonna just show you, okay, so you know we got, this is our dipping station with our egg wash, right? Then here, we got our filling. And then remember these? Look at that right there. And this is only after 10 minutes, you can see it starting to render some of that strawberry juice, so hey, the longer I let these sit, the more and more it'll render that juice. Okay, so you just seen everything set up, right? So now it's time to do the assembly. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to start off like this. So look, I'm going to start right here, right? Got my bread. I am going to just put a cup, you know, a layer here. And then listen, you don't want it to be so thick. When you make it super thick, you don't want it to be oozing out in your pan. You know, some might come out, I mean, that's going to happen. You know what I mean? But you just want to hold, refrain. Show some restraint, that's what I'm trying to say. Show some restraint, so we got that there. Now, we're gonna come over here to these uh, these strawberries, right? So we'll just add a couple here. And you can, look, you can see the juice. Man, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and use my hand. I don't know why I'm being shy. Look, get them in like this. You just wanna put a layer on, just like you see right there, right? So now, I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna take another slice. We're gonna add just a little thin letter, layer. This right here is what's gonna hold it together, you know, and make everything adhere. So you have just like one piece, right? So not too thick, because we got it on right there. Then we'll just take it like this, put this over the top, and we're just gonna set that off to the side, just like that. Now we're gonna repeat. Okay, so you just seen everything set up, right? So now it's time to do the assembly. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to start off like this. Oh, you know what? Let me touch bases on this part right here. Listen, it, you know what? I like to find a loaf, really, like you, like a hollow loaf or, you know, a brioche, brioche uh, loaf. When you have it like that, then you can cut your slices, right? So if you cut it an inch and a half or maybe an inch and a quarter, what you can do is you can make a slot. So I'm going to show you like this. Just imagine this right here being one thick piece, right? So we would take a knife and we would just cut it this way, like that, just enough to make it a, have a pocket. And if we did that, then you would cut it all the way down to the center. 
If we did that, it would be just like doing pork chops or chicken, right? Then you can use your cream cheese and your strawberry to stuff it in the inside. But since I did not have one of those, I'm gonna show you, and most people don't have one just like, you know, at the ready. So if you if this is a last minute thing, you got the strawberry, you say, hey, let's make this happen. We just gonna use two pieces of bread. You know what I mean? And then you wanna make sure you get that thick slice. All right, with all of that being said, let's get it. So look, I'm gonna start right here, right? Got my bread. I am going to just put a cup, you know, a layer here. And then listen, you don't want it to be so thick. When you make it super thick, you don't want it to be oozing out in your pan. You know, some might come out, I mean, that's gonna happen. You know what I mean? But you just want to hold, refrain, show some restraint. That's what I'm trying to say. Show some restraint. So we got that there. Now we're gonna come over here to these, uh, these strawberries, right? So we'll just add a couple here. And you can, look, you can see the juice, man. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and use my hand. I don't know why I'm being shy. Look, get them in like this. You just wanna put a layer on just like you see right there, right? So now, I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna put that there, and I'm gonna take another slice. We're gonna add just a little thin letter, layer. This right here is what's gonna hold it together, you know, and make everything adhere. So you have just like one piece, right? So not too thick, because we got it on right there. Then we'll just take it like this, Put this over the top, and we're just gonna set that off to the side, just like that. Now we're gonna repeat. Okay, you can see right here, I got my butter melted, right? Just put a tablespoon of butter in there, just moved it around, and that's at a medium heat, you know what, because you don't wanna like burn your butter, and you don't want it to cook too fast, right? So go ahead and just drop your sandwiches in your egg wash right there. You know what I mean? This is your little wet batter. And then you don't want to leave it in there too long because you don't want it to like just be like super soggy, right? So then after you do that, you shake it and then you just go ahead and put it in there. Now you can see I'm on to my last one. And at a medium heat, which is about 275, 280 degrees, you know what I mean? Right around there, it'll take about four minutes. And then when you flip them over, they should look like this. Now you'll notice that it's a little darker towards the bottom, which was really towards the top, right? It was really towards the center. The reason being, I'm using an induction top, so you remember the heating element is in the middle. But other than that, if you guys are using gas or you're using an electric range or something like that, it'll be just like evenly, you know, evenly brown. Okay, so you can see nothing stuck. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and take them off, right? Okay. Now look, after about four minutes on each side, right? Go ahead and just take them off. I mean, this part right here is really like self-explanatory. Just make sure you, you get yourself like a flat plastic spatula if you're using one of these non-stick pans like I'm using right there. You know what I mean? That had like a little curvature to it, so it kind of like beat them up when you're slipping it underneath. Now, I just took one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it just so you can see, you know, what heaven on earth looks like. Hey, look at this right here. Oh man, hey, make my, my water just looking at it right now. So you can just see that with a little maple syrup on the top and that's it right there so look i got them all lined out right there and then i set up my little stations because i'm gonna go ahead and take a thumbnail and garnish okay so you guys just seen it you know how, how easy they are to make i got them you know what i mean uh, just did a little pan around so you can see that too now it's time to go ahead and put them on a plate you can put them out like this you can stack them as high as you want to and uh hey look i'm not gonna over talk it let's just plate <laughs> okay so here, look, when it comes to plating, you know what, if you just serving them, you just stick them on the plate along with your eggs, you know, your protein or whatever. But for me, I'm doing this because you know I got to get a thumbnail, right? So I just stacked them up too high and then I put the cut piece on there and then I had some extra uh, slices of the strawberries, right? So I just put them on top. But you can look at it and just see that this right here, when I tell you it's heaven, it's heaven. Look at that. I'm gonna get my maple syrup. Now check this out, this is when it all ties in together. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just pour a little bit like this. We're just gonna get it to go. And look at that right there, folks. That right there, that's that fire. And I'm gonna just try to put a little bit right here on top. Just like you see right there. Right? And then, all I'm gonna do is give it a little shake here and there, we just finna let it snow on there just a little bit, like what you see right there. And tell me right now, folks, tell me that ain't fire. Look, don't wanna overdo it. So we'll leave it like that. 
and that there folks this is what i call stuffed french toast get at me so tell me what you guys think about this one here hey look i got a smile on my face because i'm constantly smelling it you know what i mean i've been sampling the the filling, the strawberries and all of that. So listen, I'm getting ready to cut me a piece. I'm finna cut me a piece right now as I'm talking. Hey, woo -hoo. check it out, folks. It might be a little sloppy, but this is it right here. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, can't wait to get my milk. You know what I'm saying? Just to put this together, sit down, and just have a good time with myself and my friends. Hey, listen, listen, this is perfect to put, you know, like to do for your family. You guys can uh, do this. We at home. You got your family at the house too. You can do this like on Saturday. That's why I'm dropping this video today. So you guys can get those ingredients just in case you don't have it. And you can put this out. And you guys can just like go back down memory lane. This takes me back to my childhood. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe and tell everybody out here. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And for those of you guys that have been watching me for a minute, you know how I'm finna get out of here.